Hello everyone, my name is Alexander Ilich. I'm a senior BIM manager at Bexel Consulting and also member of Building Smart International Professional Certification Program Development Group. Today I will present you features of Bexel Manager BIM platform and we will also talk about BIM dimensions, challenges in implementation of BIM and what we believe is solution to these challenges. At the beginning, just before we start with the topic, I want to, to, to just briefly introduce you about Bexel. Bexel is a software development and BIM consultants company with experience on numerous projects around the globe. We are multinational members of Building Smart International and we are devoted to integrated BIM project management, BIM education and BIM implementation. Uh, last year, we won Innovation Award at Building Smart Annual Competition, and we are very proud to be recognized as leaders in innovation in the field of BIM. It was a pleasure to be amongst the finalists in category of technology last year, and to see so many good ideas and innovative approaches to implementation and development of BIM. So, let's move to the topic. If we talk about BIM, we can say with high certainty that benefits of BIM are not even questioned anymore. Numerous studies have shown that implementation of BIM brings advantages and moves construction industry forward. We can for sure say that BIM is the future of construction industry. Industry has passed the time where it was asking itself if the BIM is the right way, it definitely is. Awareness of benefits of BIM and acceptance of BIM principles are also constantly increasing. We can see that every year number of professionals implementing BIM on projects worldwide are increasing and in general we see positive feedback. And even people that are still not using BIM are aware of its benefits and in general plan to introduce it. But we also see skepticism. I mean in the first place about BIM implementation more than the BIM itself. We see that there are numerous challenges in implementation of BIM. People tend to perceive BIM as complex and fragmented, tend to see it as an expensive and complicated process that will bring certain benefits, you know, long term, but they're not sure about quick return on investment. BIM is often considered as a series of separate tools or processes specifically tailored for a certain part of construction management or for a specific project lifecycle phase. Another very significant challenge is the process of implementation and education about BIM. Since BIM is relatively new in construction, a road to successful implementation and training is still challenging. It often leads to unrealistic requirements, technologies and processes that are not fit for purpose. We often see that BIM, implement, BIM implementation process is not tailored for the project needs. It just looks like a set of interesting new requirements with no clear picture of benefits or realism about its implementation. And this is where professional organizations like Building Smart International step in. BIM and education about BIM is finally being standardized. With ISO 19650 and similar standardization documents, we are starting to speak the same language in BIM. And we are starting to understand BIM processes in a right way. But altogether, results of BIM implementation are not satisfying at the moment. Construction management processes in many cases remain the same as with traditional approach with low or insignificant impact from BIM implementation. BIM tools are not properly implemented in many cases, therefore possible benefits are low. For example, projects where BIM serves only for visualization or similar limited BIM use cases. Professionals still often experience low level of integration of data and problems in information flow. We still experience loss of information between stakeholders and between different project stages. Issues with knowledge management still remains unresolved. We still have to start from the beginning for every new project. In short, we have developed new tools, but in many cases processes and coordination remain more or less equally inefficient as before if implementation is not done in the right way. But identifying the problems is the first step towards solution. So 
failure is the greatest teacher of all. And if we are aware of problems in BIM implementation, then we are able to envision solution. But what is solution? We see it as a need for new approach to BIM implementation. We have to ensure BIM processes and BIM platforms are open and adjustable for different requirements and different project types. We need to ensure that the core of BIM process and BIM model on the project is to be a reliable single source of truth for all participants to encompass, encompass all relevant information. We, sorry, uh, we have to rely on best practices and knowledge base, and we have to significantly improve knowledge management in our industry. We have to find a way to exchange not only the raw project data, but also know-how between stakeholders. We have to automate processes to eliminate repetitive manual labor intensive processes, but again, not only in terms of applying new technology or new tool, but also to transform process itself based on new requirements and new possibilities. We, we have to take advantage and facilitate advances in computing power and big data analytic picture. That's the direction other industries have taken decades ago. New approach and new technology also brings extensive analytics. It opens possibilities for much more precise project analysis and better planning and better project control based on it. We have to rely on it and use it properly. And maybe the most important part, we have to switch to integrated approach. We cannot allow BIM to be implemented or envisioned as a sum of separate processes. Only process that ensures all information are properly integrated and interdependent can bring significant boost in productivity that our industry desperately needs. And this is how we have envisioned it. We see Bexel Manager as a platform that is capable of integrating all relevant project information within single federated central BIM model. Collaboration through IFC and BCF in an open BIM environment gives us opportunity to deal with challenges of losing data. And another aspect of collaboration is addressed that is, and that is becoming more and more relevant. And it is a knowledge management or exchange of not only raw project data, but also exchanging know-how, exchange and reuse of classifications, cost databases, rules of measurement, IDS, and all of that done through open BIM formats. When it comes to functionalities, the platform is envisioned as a, as a platform capable of executing analysis throughout the whole project life cycle, from project setup through design, construction, all the way to operations and maintenance phase. Through open API and series of add-ins, platform functionalities could be additionally customized and automated, and it could be even integrated with ERP systems. We also have envisioned a CDE, Common Data Environment version, a cloud-based multi-user solution, which extends basic Bexel Manager functionalities with document management system, FM module, and multi-user access. All platform modules also have extensive reporting functionalities from basic Excel data export to customized Power BI reporting. And if we're talking about BIM dimensions in general, we're witnessing that with development of BIM, the list and even the order of defined dimensions is changing with new possibilities and BIM use cases arising every day. So this graph is just a pretty basic representation of BIM dimensions at the moment, and it only underlines basic analysis, but it is illustrative enough to give us pers perspective on BIM dimensions that are applicable to majority of construction projects and to see how Bexel Manager fits within it. When we talk about Bexel Manager in context of BIM dimensions, its modules and functionalities cover 3D, 4D, 5D, and 6D BIM. As you can see, it is even hard to present graphically certain BIM features as separate processes or to sort it by dimensions because all of these analysis and processes are extremely interdependent. Not only 4D and 5D, but also 3D related features that are related to, to 4D and 5D since 
3D represents the basis for all further model updates. And not to mention how facility maintenance is dependent on information database established in previous project phases. So this integration and entanglement is something that is necessary for successful BIM implementation, no matter if it is achieved through integrated platform or through open BIM collaboration between platforms. So let's start with 3D features available in Bexel Manager. Of course, the basic processes, the model federation through IFC exchange, then the basic visualization of the project and processes of quality control through geometrical and data validation. Bexel Manager allows all of these processes to be performed within this platform, but also allows collaboration with other OpenBIM platforms through IFC and BCF exchange. When it comes to geometry validation with powerful clash detection engine, Bexel Manager offers hard clash, clearance clash, and duplicate clash analysis with advanced reporting module, which gives users opportunity to exchange results in form of customized reports or directly through BCF files for easier collaboration and project coordination. Data management process is performed through series of open API add-ins available for download. But besides available model checkers with a small effort in programming, user is able to configure customized add-in tailored for the needs of a specific project, specific market, or company or legal specific requirements. The module is also open for the future development of standardized information delivery specification through JSON machine readable format. Now we're going to see an example, a video example of model checker add-in in which uh, checks uh, IFC properties of BIM model. So basically after user initiates add-in, he is able to open checklist defined in this case in Excel spreadsheet containing defined set of properties for different IFC parameters. Excel checklist is open in model checker and it could be also saved in, in JavaScript object notation format for easier exchange with other OpenBIM model checking platforms. And as well, it could be imported in this format in case you want to use a checklist or know-how from another BIM platform. And this is where we are talking not only about exchange of information, project information, but also exchange of knowledge within OpenBIM environment. User is then able to start check, to define the phase of the project according to which checker will be reconfigured since you need different level of model development in different project phases. It will run check and create results in form of selection sets organized by IFC properties defined in checklist with an issue written in the selection set names. These results could be then exchanged not only with other Bexel Manager user, user, users, but also with a simple drag and drop user can create BCF with automatic issue description and send it to any BCF supported platform for coordination. As already mentioned, add-ins could be developed through open API and checks could be completely customized to user needs. Besides automated data validation, Bexel Manager also allows for automated data enrichment. This means that through open API add-ins, you're also able to add properties to model elements based on some user-defined rules. In similar, similar workflow as with model checkers, Data enrichment rules are defined in form of Excel input spreadsheet that is imported in add-in user interface and model is enriched based on these rules. This is just a, a quick example of, of how it works in, um, in user interface. Uh, in this case, we have an IFC based model and uniformat cost database that was imported from Excel format. But model elements doesn't contain uniformat code properties based on which cost classification could be linked or assigned to model elements. So with the use of add-in for data enrichment, user is able to define rules according to which model will be enriched with the codes. So 
in the form of simple Excel sheet, user defines which code should be assigned to which combination of existing properties in the model. In this case, IFC entity and IFC object type served as the basis for data enrichment. And add-in populates this model based on these predefined rules. So basically, when it finds a combination of these two properties on certain elements, it populates the code that is written in the sheet. So after data enrichment process is complete, all model elements contain newly defined property uniformat based on existing properties. And now external cost database can be easily assigned to model elements based on newly added data. Of course, this is not limited to uniformat or this combination of properties, and it could be easily reconfigured simply by customizing Excel input table to fit your project requirements. The next group of BIM features are 4D BIM features. Here we can talk about scheduling and planning, construction simulation, 4D progress tracking, plan versus actual analysis, and schedule optimization options. Of course, even though these could be performed as separate 4D analysis within software, the most effective workflow is to perform it as an integrated 4D, 5D process, which will be explained further. When it comes to scheduling, Bexel Manager allows for two general workflows. One is traditional schedule creation or import from external planning software, and then manual linking of scheduled tasks with model elements and cost database. And the second one is a unique intelligent scheduling approach. Uh, what that means is that in this case, the process of schedule creation and schedule linking to model elements and cost database is completely automated. And user only has to define schedule logic. We come up with this idea since throughout experience on different projects, we were constantly facing the same, same challenges. If we want to have a good detailed schedule, it always required a lot of information, a lot of engineering hours to execute, to coordinate, and besides that, even if we invest time and resources in process, we always face additional challenges if we have to include any change, which is often case on the projects. So we were thinking if there is a more intelligent or more efficient way to proceed with the scheduling. What we have first done is analyzing schedule logic. We have figured out that every schedule is organized following more or less the same principles. It always has two main levels of organization, spatial project organization or spatial distribution of works and work sequence organization or construction methodology. Spatial organization is always conditioned by spatial properties of the building and work sequence organization is on the other hand dependent on, on technology of execution and project type. So groups of works and relationships between them in construction schedule are more or less typical for certain parts of the project. So we were thinking, what if we give user opportunity to define a schedule logic or schedule organizational levels and the schedule itself will be generated by advanced computer algorithm based on the rules defined by the user. In this new approach, the planner is defining uh, building execution sequence using typical relations available in traditional scheduling process. So it says the order of the building execution in this example. It defines first and second level of, of uh, work execution sequence with just defining the groups of works and its relations. It defines uh, vertical spatial organization or the order in which uh, the, the floors on the building will be executed. And in the end, it defines the zones execution sequence or the horizontal spatial organization. So user just defines these levels of schedule organization and compute, computer algorithm generates actual tasks and relations between tasks. So just to simplify it, you are defining, for example, that beam is executed after column and you don't have to define it for every floor and every building. You just do that once and computer algorithm applies that relation to all corresponding spatial elements of the project. And after user defines this logic and generates schedule, 
user is then able to analyze schedule in line of balance and GAN chart view. Since schedule created in such way is directly linked with model elements and cost information database, complete analytics of the project integrated within the schedule is available. So planner can easily evaluate and optimize schedule parameters. Another important thing is that once you have created construction methodology for, let's say, residential building, you can reuse it in the next project. Methodology is mostly based on object typology and construction project technology. So basically it could be applied on multiple projects, of course, with certain small modifications. But the whole system is flexible and we have tested it on a different types of projects. It perfectly fits on small projects, large scale projects, high rise, infrastructure, housing, industrial, and so on. So here are just some examples of application of this logic to different project types, like this large-scale pre pre uh, residential project, which was using basically very similar methodology to the one we were using on the, on the previous smaller building, or this infrastructure project where spatial distribution is defined in a different way, following the axis and change due to specifics of construction technology with no need for vertical distribution of works or a sports venue with its unique construction logic, but following the same principles of schedule development. Here I'm going to just briefly show you one video that is encompassing all different types of project on which we were using this approach in schedule creation. So every of these schedules were actually created through intelligent scheduling engine. Of course, every di different project type has some specifics in methodology sequence and scheduling matrix, but on the core level, logic of building schedule is common. All of these uh, schedules and construction simulations were developed using intelligent scheduling engine, and we were just defining work sequence applicable to certain construction technology and defining specific spatial structure, and the final results are very complex and very detailed schedules created through this streamlined process, stream aligned process, eliminating repetitive work. So uh, let's move for another group of functionalities and that is 5D functionalities of Bexel Manager. This includes 5D cost management, 5D reporting, 5D construction simulation, again, as a part of an integrated 4D, 5D workflow, 5D project planning and cost optimization. Within Bexel Manager cost module, user is able to control cost database, resources, various additional costs, and to optimize project costs through resource leveling functionality. Um, as in scheduling here, also Bexel Manager allows for two main workflows. User is able to either import cost database using Excel spreadsheet or to open or open API and to define rules for model elements linking to cost items, or to simply generate cost database directly within platform using smart cost management. In case of importing cost database, using, user can rely on standardized cost databases or its own unique cost database. Uh, when it comes to smart cost management, user has an opportunity to define a work breakdown structure of future cost database directly in software based on the available data in the model. Let's say the codes populated in the model, as, as you have seen in the example on, of this uh, uniform based IFC model. Uh, it has an opportunity to generate cost database automatically and then fine tune it and assign it to the model elements. User has an opportunity to automatically define cost database hierarchy, coding system, and even unit prices. In this way, linking rules are defined automatically and user only has to fine tune cost database by defining quantity formulas and modifying link rules for just specific cost items. What is also important is that cost database serves as the basis for methodology definition within intelligent scheduling process. So the sequence of works or construction methodology is created simply by defining relationships between groups of works defined in cost database. In this way, after schedule is generated, 
you instantly have an integration of 4D and 5D information on the project since cost database served as the basis for schedule generation rules. So user is able to assess performance of the schedule simply by analyzing cash flow, cumulative cost, resources uh, through time. And on the other hand, it has possibility to optimize project costs simply by adjusting and fine-tune fine uh, schedule. For example, you see that you are using too many resources in certain period of time. You just extend these tasks with uh, resource leveling automatically or you know manually. And the, the, the change in the needed resources is reflected immediately in the cost. Not to mention the possibilities of evaluation of different schedules and cost databases in the early project phase. This gives you opportunity to have true information supported decision making process. This video is showing just one example of an integrated 4D, 5D simulation of a large scale residential project. This is the project that actually won the innovation award last year in building spark competition. So as you can see here, project is organized in a smaller spatial units. Construction methodology is defined through relations between groups of works in, as they are defined in cost database and schedule and construction simulation is generated automatically. In this simulation, Besides schedule information, task duration, and working sequence, user is able also to visualize cost dynamics of the project as well. So for the whole complex or for the particular subzones, you can see the actual cost dynamics of the project. And all of the above mentioned functionalities cover design and construction phase of the project life cycle. But with facility maintenance module within Bexel Manager FM, we also cover 6D BIM functionalities. And that includes asset management, 6D reporting, cloud-based document management system, and facility maintenance planning. So the workflow is simple after construction process is complete as build the BIM model with integrated information about actual progress data, used resources, and as built cost information served as a basis for the asset model development. And then within Bexel Manager FM, user is able to create maintenance plans and to link all relevant documents directly to model elements through cloud-based document management system. These plans are then linked to model elements and after that, you can again use model checking engine to just check if the model is properly populated with, uh, with all the necessary information. And after you confirm that asset model is ready, user is just able to filter planned activities, track the plan, track and plan the, the, the costs during operation and maintenance of the project. Another important part of BIM management process throughout project life cycle is reporting, which is available and necessary in every module of Bexel Manager. Bexel Manager allows users to export data in open BIM formats as well as in some traditional scheduling formats or some reporting platforms like Power BI and Excel. When it comes to reporting and information exchange, Bexel Manager offers a wide range, a wide range of uh, options. So you have predefined Power BI templates, Microsoft Excel reports, including progress reports, payment certificate reports. You can exchange information through OpenBIM formats, BCF and IFC. You can export reports in HTML, PDF, or make custom reporting using OpenAPI or here you can just see a few screenshots or examples of the analytics that is available directly in the software or with the export to external platforms. I'm gonna just go quickly through this video of available analytics within Bexel Manager uh, platform and also Power BI reports. So basically this is directly exported to Power BI from uh, Bexel Manager. And you can open prepared the Power BI dashboard template, which includes model explorer analysis, clash detection dashboard, 
progress information, 5D estimation uh, dashboard, uh, and also key project indicators dashboard, which contains earned value analysis, cost performance index, and schedule performance index calculation for whole project, but also with various filtering options for detailed analysis of the different groups of works or parts of the projects. And for the end, just to sum up, we believe that Bexel Manager presents a true platform for lean construction management. It's an open integrated BIM solution that covers a wide range of BIM functionalities throughout the whole project life cycle. Besides Bexel Manager, Bexel also offers different specialized versions of its software platform like Bexel Manager Lite, Bexel Manager Engineer, Bexel Manager FM that was already mentioned, and Bexel Manager CDE, multi-user cloud-based platform. User interface is translated to eight languages with seven more in preparation. And our main motto is that change in one place is reflected throughout whole BIM model. This establishes central, central federated BIM model as a single source of truth, credible central database upon which all stakeholders can rely. And our mission is just to develop and implement advanced integrated digital construction management and together with community and professional organization to promote use and improvement of BIM and advocate for digital transformation in construction industry. Our vision in short is to make sure that processes we are establishing today are not only aimed for improving existing construction process, but also to be able to support it in the future. Construction evolves, it constantly faces new challenges, it aims for new frontiers, and construction management process has to follow it and support it. Thank you very much for your attention. I hope this topic was interesting and that you will find our approach to be innovative and in line with long-term development of digital construction management.